Good morning. I'm Secretary of State Trey Hargett. Today is Thursday, November 17, 2016. Today we'll be discussing the third quarter of 2016 outlined in the Tennessee Quarterly Business and Economic Indicators Report. The report is published through a partnership with my office and the University of Tennessee Knoxville Center for Business and Economic Research. Joining me today is Dr. William F. Fox, who serves as the center's director. The report offers a snapshot of the state's economy based on business data from the Division of Business Services. Let me begin by saying data this quarter indicates Tennessee's economy has grown for 20 consecutive quarters, which is a major milestone, five straight years of growth. Business services processed more than 8,800 new entity filings in the third quarter of 2016. That's up 7.3% from last year. Among the state's four largest counties, Davidson, Shelby, Knox, and Hamilton, there were 5,116 new entities, which is an astonishing 45.9% increase compared to the same period last year. We will take questions shortly. For now, I'll turn things over to Dr. Fox. Mr. Secretary, thank you very much. It's certainly my privilege to be on the call and live with you this time, uh, yeah. which, which is great. Uh, as the Secretary just said, uh, we've now seen five consecutive years of growth and new entity filings, which certainly uh, speaks well of the strength of the Tennessee economy. We're creating a lot of new companies and with it, a lot of new employment. We see through the third quarter, 2.5% growth in the number of jobs in Tennessee. And so excellent uh, increases both in, in companies and in the related employment with that. Uh, as, as the secretary noted, it's particularly strong among our four largest counties uh, with over 40% growth, Hamilton County uh, doing particularly fastest, uh, over 50% growth in the number of their businesses. Another thing I note when I look at the data is how many of the new companies are not in this standard uh, C Corp form. So many of them are now uh, new LLCs. And this is a continuing trend in the Tennessee and in the U.S. economy with different kind of business structures than have traditionally operated. So bottom line, we have a really, really strong economy with, with good employment growth and very good growth in the number of firms. All right. Thank you. We'll open up the questions now. Hi, this is Dave Luster at the Chattanooga Times Free Press. Dave, I knew I could count on you. Thank you for the call. <laughs> uh, Fox, is your explanation you could have a 50% jump from one year to another. I know that's only one county, but is that, that seems extraordinary in Hamilton there. It's a 53.6% increase for Hamilton yeah. County uh, by comparison with a year ago. And so, so again, just extraordinary growth. And, and in the same vein, while we, we don't have this in the report, if you look at the Cleveland uh, area, the Cleveland area has the fastest employment growth of any of the of the big cities in Tennessee, and so so this is not just a Hamilton County phenomenon. It, it it's also in the Cleveland area as well. Does anyone else? What does this say about growth for twenty seventeen? Um, good question. Can, is this a good arbiter for growth in the next year? How, how do how do these um, business formations translate into growth in the future? Dave, based on our uh, analytical work on this, what we see is that new entity filings are a very good leading indicator of where the economy is going. And so we see it as a clear signal that Tennessee enters 2017 with continued economic growth. Uh, you know, and we'd certainly be pleased to see growth as strong as, as we've seen so far in 2016. But, but in, even if not quite that strong, 2017 is going to be a really good year based on what we see by new entity filings. You know, if I could add on to that, the chart on page one of the newsletter, we typically show since the employment new entity filings, shown figure one here. That's a great description of what you just mentioned about being a leading indicator. In fact, it's one of the slides that we use when talking to credit ratings agencies about the strength of Tennessee's economy. Well, thank you all for your participation. We certainly appreciate your coverage of this and, and the strength of Tennessee's economy. Just um, great news for us in our, our state.